Have you ever been in a relationship with a woman who didn't cutthroat you? I, I don't know many women that won't cutthroat you. Do something where you like, well, I'll be God. It didn't really do that. I'm talking about something that you know. That's not nothing I should ever look past. But you look past it because you are a simp. That's why. You a simp at that point in your life. Man. Jeannie Mai is accusing Jeezy of having crazy outbursts of physical and verbal abuse against not only Jeannie but his oldest son as well. She details excessive drinking and physical abuse and she's also included pictures. She's afraid of not only her well-being but the well-being of she and Jeezy's two-year-old daughter Monaco as well. Jeezy is calling cap to all of this. This is what they can do once the war begins. And the war is inevitable because we do not know how to pick quality. I don't know how to argue in court when they're gonna empower her against me. Why am I in court? Y'all gonna send me the bill. Why the fuck y'all got me here? Y'all gonna try to rob me. This must be stopped. Stop it. This ain't sh this is not something we should be scared to say or be like, ooh, cool, you wrong for that. No, I'm telling you, if God walked up to me and said, Corey, what did you say? You put these up in out here. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, you polite savages, and welcome to another Tip Talk. So apparently there's some breaking news, you polite savages. Apparently, Jenny Ma is proclaiming in court with a foul complaint that Jeezy has physically and verbally abused her and that he was also neglectful of his child and she witnessed him physically abuse his older son. Now, she's saying that these incidents happened in the year 2022. And this is horrible, it, it sounds horrible. But I do wanna ask a couple of questions. Because you see, around here, we think logically, we're gonna ask a follow-up question, we're just not gonna take anything at face by value. I understand that the fourth wave and fifth wave feminism is believe all women no matter what, but around these parts, we are going to ask the follow-up. So you said this happened in 2022. Then why did Jeezy file for divorce in 2023? Almost a year later, if not over a year later. Your marriage only lasted for two years. So my question is, when did he become abusive? Was it immediately? Was it in the middle? Was it just at one time? Well, no, because you said it was several occasions. You even had some pictures, some receipts saying that this is what he did. So why didn't you take those pictures to the police and get out of that situation? Don't act like you were scared of him, because if you were scared of him, when he decided to leave, you wouldn't have tried to fight for your wedding, fight for your marriage. You see, you were blindsided because that man filed for divorce and you didn't think it was going to happen. You even said you were blindsided. If he was saying, I can't wait to divorce you, if he was going in on you, then why were you blindsided, ma'am? Your own words. Um, at the time when I found out, you know, at the same time as the rest of the world that yeah. my marriage was ending in divorce, I was gutted. And we all know what we want. We want to feel trusted. We want to feel loved. We want to feel safe. So ma'am, if you felt so blindsided, how could you be if this it was so bad, if you were abused? But I have a theory. My theory is, is that that prenuptial agreement is holding steady. And you thought you were gonna get out of it, but something just ain't right. Financially, you're not getting what you wanna get. And Jeezy turned around and filed for custody of the children, at least half of 50%. And so you realize 50% physical, 50% legal custody. What's going to happen is that you're not going to get anything. And you have to get something. How dare him leave me? Hell knows nothing compared to a woman's scorn. And so what you're going to do, ma'am, is you're going to use this whole situation to gain complete and total full physical custody of this child because in your words he's abusive and neglectful none of this existed before until you started to lose your case until it started to look bad for you you tried to own a reverse card and it didn't work so now you're gonna try to i need child support in a form of alimony that's right 
a lot of child support with these big level, these big name cases, this higher level, it's to supplement the alimony that you're not gonna get. How much is how much is that baby worth? 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars a month? I mean, your little show is gone, and everyone says, Oh, child, please, she has her own money. That does not mean anything. She wants this man to suffer. She wants him to feel it. And women know the number one way to make a man feel something is to deprive him of his child and deprive him of his money. And she is here to do both. And if you don't believe me, if you don't think that this is a tactic commonly used, commonly used amongst these folks what i want you to do is just take one look one solitary look at tyrese and what he was saying it's affected me more her not having her father like in the house like that you know i was raised in a divorced home and it was a high conflict divorce i have great relationships with the men in my life and um I, I would love for us to come to a place of, of peace for sure. I told you I was in a relationship with Zelly and I was not willing to go and break this off or cut this woman off because you decided to wake up on a Wednesday and come back and play in the sandbox. Everything about the way you left me was heartless. It was evil. You never considered me your marriage, and let alone your innocent one-year-old child. She had to celebrate her second birthday apart. I've moved on. I'm with Zelly. You moved on. I don't even want to the first nigga you started dating when we broke up. Because you're going to go viral from that. If I were to tell who you started dating as soon as we broke up, you would go viral from that. All you want is attention, you want Facebook followers, you want Instagram followers. Four ways women lose a good man and how you can avoid it. Taking them for granted. A man been so good to you for so long, you no longer see the value in them. Not communicating well or effectively. Like expecting men to read our minds and getting mad when they can't. Being dismissive about how you make him feel or being overly defensive. Not liking being held accountable for your actions and how you've made that man feel. Last but not least, being selfish and unwilling to compromise. You're trying to be a life coach and you're trying to get to drink the Kool-Aid with a real one right here. Everybody can see through your This is all a game. You're clout chasing. You're something that I don't even know. From the toxic female tactics, passive aggressive weapons since they can't go toe in toe using physical force to assert their dominance on a man, so they're gonna do whatever they can. And in this case, using society and social media to their advantage through reputation destruction, using innuendo, and the power of gossip with the power of the state, the law, the courts backing them up. And in addition to using technology at a widespread rapid rate with social media. I was talking to Tyrese in his court hearing and pulled me out to the side. He was telling me, he was saying number one, he didn't even understand why she wanted to get a divorce from him. She, he was really hurt about that. Mm -hmm. But she was unloading barrels on him. She hired an attorney. That attorney was charging five, $600 an hour. Then she went and hired another attorney while still having the first attorney. And so he was charging $500 an hour. Then while she had those two attorneys, she went and tried to hire another attorney. Now all the time, Tyrese was having to pay for his attorney and all these other attorneys at the same time. I love this person. And there were just certain things that just didn't work out. And that's not for the world to know. That's not for people to know. That's for me and him to know, and I hate that our business is out on the media sites. I hate that because it's a family. It's a family that's broken apart. It's not entertainment, and unfortunately, it's become entertainment, and I don't like it. It was so true that if that woman wanted to work it out, if that woman wasn't trying to be any type of way and she was sorry and that someone had talked her in and we're talking about Tyrese's ex here someone had talked her into filing for divorce child please how does someone talk you in to filing for divorce and destroying your marriage but she still after all of that after all of that cappage she never said hey withdraw the proclamation for child support 
No, no, no. She's getting that 20000 plus a month. This is the Jeannie Ma play right now. The foundation was laid by Tyrese's wife. And now she's following the playbook. Because one thing we know is these modern women, they have a hive mindset. They're not individuals. It's not back in the day when your mom would hold it down or your grandma would hold it down and dad would go work all day. All of those times are gone. These modern women, boss babe mentalities, they're here to get it all. And this man is in trouble because they'll use any tactic, any tactic. DV, no problem. Neglectful of the child, no problem. You keep playing around if you want to with these modern ladies. They gonna show you. It's easier to talk to somebody who's respectable and fair, but I just don't know a lot of bitches who are respectable or fair. They f the lawyer in their case against their <laughs> baby daddy. He was broke for 10 years, 20 years. They're right where she was when you first started, yeah. mentally, financially, yeah. everything. Yeah. And they will still tell you what you need to be Not doing. Not Teddy Wise, her titties gonna be sagging. Oh. Soot. Hell yeah. I had a I saw soot come out of titty. <laughs> oh, Lord. 1040 viscosity soot. Bitch, this is diesel truck uh, oil chain soot. This was Matt Gray coming out of titty. <laughs> what the f is that coming out her titty? And I still didn't leave yet. God, you did a crazy thing programming into men for falling and being blinded by the commodity goods. The hustle wallet between her legs of a woman. Yes, it's all for procreation and ensuring the survival of the species. But it doesn't help when society, the courts, social media, other simpish men, programming into men that we must take. Whatever crap, crud, slander, and smear tactics a woman dishes out onto us. She's allowed to deflect, to shame, to insult, to dig in her heels, assaulting a man with lies. Throwing allegations and accusations all around at the same time avoiding accountability. G Mai and her allegations against Jeezy. It smells real fishy. And I should know since I am half Vietnamese and we love that fish sauce. Nook mum. Because why all of a sudden G Mai coming out after the fact of their marriage to damage Jeezy's reputation using the modern woman's playbook? Draining Jeezy's wallet, his time and his mental peace and his energy. Hitting him where it hurts in the bank account. Because you know damn well and sure she doesn't want Jeezy to be spending on them 7, 8, 9, and 10 dime pieces. Lining up, ready to go and slop on his knob, willing and able to go and spread an eagle for Jeezy to sow and see. Unfortunately, ladies and polite savages out there. What is shown in today's society that marriage is not sacred, there is an expiration date. And that expiration date has real costs. Emotionally, physically, mentally, and financially. And of course, importantly, socially, where families, daughters and sons are torn apart from their fathers. Your reputation is tarnished. And it seems like today's modern man getting the short end of the stick at risk and peril. From every shadow, crook and corner, the wicked succubies of ladies are out there. What it really comes down to, that polite savages, men, it's really just your turn. Whether she's underneath you in the rotation, or kick you out of her rotation, or worst of all, ride over the top of you with her lawyer attack dog scoundrels, and the peanut gallery of rah rah cheerleading supporters, egging on in court to take you for all that you got. God showed me this <laughs> is full of soot, <laughs> and I still stayed around her. I swear to God, but. It's a lesson so many men have to be taught. You not in control. You think, I'm gonna treat the bitch. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. That gonna be standing on the plaintiff side of the courtroom <laughs> with people who have been trained to destroy you. Pointing at you like you ain't. That's all I got for you, you polite savages. Like and subscribe, hit us up on all social media networks. <laughs> we found true happiness.